Hello again, everyone. Kenna Kostman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, coming to you in the middle of June here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, to uh, give an update. This time I'm doing something a little bit different. Usually I talk about my lumber price data, which comes out every Friday. Uh, we have a dashboard that my customers log into to see uh, the price information and market data. Uh, and a lot of these uh, YouTube videos that I've been doing and the stories that we've been posting on our website, uh, U.S. housing starts or uh, U.S. home sales and lumber prices. But what I'm going to do today is talk about uh, sawmill production and curtailments. Uh, this year, Madison started a new product called uh, the Sawmill Curtailment Lookout. And it comes out once a month and it talks about um, specifically the announcements of uh, mills, uh, lumber mills, panel mills, uh, pulp paper, uh, cedar, which are taking downtime or having curtailments. Uh, there might have been a fire um, or uh, they need to do it for uh, not necessarily market conditions, but these transportation issues that we've been hearing about for quite a while now, almost two years, um, the problems that mills are getting, uh, having to move their wood that they've uh, produced and sold out of the yard, uh, waiting for rail cars, waiting for trucks, can't make more wood because there's nowhere to put it, and so they've been taking downtime. There potentially might be some labor issues if there's um, a job, uh, a work stoppage, or um, other reasons why. And so real quick, let's take a look at um, a snapshot, a, a screenshot that I have of the PDF that I've been emailing out. Um, we are sending this for free. Uh, we started it in February and have been doing it uh, on the last week of every month. Uh, and this month, June, will be the last free one. And so um, just contact us either through the web form on my website, the link is here in the caption, uh, or just email the office. You can find the email address under the contact menu on the website to ask uh, to be put on the list. Uh, starting in July, uh, we will be um, sending that uh, monthly update uh, Madison Sawmill Curtailment Lookout to subscribers uh, who asked for it and have paid an invoice. Uh, so let's have a look at the most recent one which came out uh, just a couple of weeks ago at the end of May and I'll explain uh, what that means, what it says. Uh, you can see uh, one of the columns, uh, very important information of how much of a reduction of production that is because we uh, have an idea of um, the uh, maximum or the uh, annual production volumes of these mills. I know that because the other core product that Madison's has been doing since 1952 is the directory, uh, Madison's Sawmill Directory, uh, which is a listing not just of contact information like name and address and salesperson phone number, but very detailed uh, what species the product mix, uh, product sizes, what kind of treatment do they do, where do they export to, uh, certainly uh, contact names, sales, uh, mail manager, uh, phone numbers, uh, email, uh, and what is their annual capacity production volume. So when you look at the uh, monthly sawmill curtailment lookout and it says, you know, mill X in city Y uh, reduced by um, you know, down uh, three weeks, uh, production uh, dropped of, you know, a certain amount of thousand board feet or million board feet, whatever. Uh, and you know, if you have a subscription to the directory, what is the production of that mill? You can figure out all of these things impact the price, okay? So like if there's a drop in supply or if there's an increase in demand or the converse, the price changes. So this is just another excellent data set to let you know on time what is happening with the wood manufacturing industry across North America that you can use to make your own determination of what will happen with the price or just to if you're um, on the periphery in home building or in retail or uh, a contractor then you can see what's happening right now and make your plans what is your decisions going to be you know a few months from now as you're operating your business. Great, and so this is page one of the lookout. Uh, this is last month's issue for May. 
the first column is uh, the company, uh, which type of mill, um, and the location is the third column. The uh, actual means um, the actual volume of how much of a curtailment is expected. Uh, the estimate will be um, a time frame or if we don't know, for example, the Sinclair uh, halfway down the list there until further notice because that mill needs to curtail a little bit due to supply chain issues and inability to ship out their wood. There's a couple on here that are uh, sawmill fires, for example, below the Sinclair Group, the Toco High Prairie Alberta mill uh, did have a pretty terrible uh, thermal oil pipe fire. These are very difficult to resolve and I'll be finding out in the next uh, week or so whether that mill has come back online or if it's going to be down for longer. Uh, and as I said, there are also sawmill announcements. The very bottom line, Roseburg in North Carolina will be building a new sawmill. This, of course, as I said, takes a few months and so expected to come online in second quarter of 2024. This is the second page. Gives a little bit of a different uh, information set. Maybe uh, new staffing announcements. Maybe financial results. Uh, the May uh, earnings week had quite a few um, companies reporting, uh, maybe government investment or other ways of getting um, investment for upgrades or building. Uh, over there on the left, uh, under the green subheading sawmill production volumes, that is taken from our directory as I was explaining. We have a very fancy, uh, easy to use, online dashboard with our good friends um, in the US called Lumber Blue Book. And this uses the uh, long-term data uh, that Madison's has been doing since 1952 of the sawmill directory listings and can show you very extensive information for each of these facilities that we've got um, with the either curtailment or restart or investment data showing in this uh, very, very useful uh, Madison's Monthly Sawmill Lookout. So as I said, that is a complement to the directory of all the uh, sawmills right now covering across Canada. Uh, lumber mills, panel mills, pulp and paper. We are currently adding the U.S. Uh, there's about three times as many mills in the U.S. as there are in Canada. And so um, this will be your one-stop shop for getting all of the information that you need on individual operations um, of wood manufacturing across North America, which is updated regularly. It used to be a printed book. Now it's online, so we can update throughout the year as changes happen. And the uh, detailed directory information with this uh, lookout gives you a snapshot of ongoing changes and current situation with the forest manufacturing across North America. Okay, and so I'm sure that uh, is very interesting. When you put this together with uh, all the other knowledge base, uh, data sets that we do at Madison's, the lumber prices, the log prices, the wood pellet prices, the directory of the sawmills, and then this lookout letting you know up to date uh, what is the curtailment situation, if, if both if mills are taking downtime or coming back online, um, new mills uh, that were uh, bought or announced restarting, you know, 18 months ago, now starting to come online, which is going to be quite a bit happening because in the last year and a half, there were quite a few announcements of, um, you know, mills being started back up, mills bought and sold, um, and uh, it does take about a year and a half for a sawmill to come back online, which is going to start being now. More mills are coming online and then other mills, maybe there's a fire or some kind of situation takes the mill out of operation for a certain amount of time. This product, the uh, sawmill curtailment lookout, will uh, tell you that as it happens. Uh, so. Uh, regular viewers know, but anybody who's new here, uh, if you want to um, be notified when I make a YouTube update, click subscribe here. Uh, in my caption is a link to my website, 
um, the subscribe link, you can fill out a form which will uh, give you, uh, if you if you send that to us, we will get you a sample of the full um, 500 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity prices for that week uh, with the market commentary explaining uh, what's happening with those prices, uh, why did the prices change, what's going on in the market. Uh, again, here on YouTube, go ahead and click like. Uh, I'm sure you like this video. Uh, it will get recommended to others who will also be able to see all this wonderful information. Um, for the curtailment lookout, as I said, uh, June will be the last uh, complimentary issue. So um, contact our office, uh, comment here even, or um, go through the contact link on the website to send us an email. We'll get you the one last um, complimentary sample. And if you like that, you can uh, subscribe. We'll get you an invoice. And uh, for a year, you will receive this uh, amazing information once a month.